Okay, so today we're gonna do quite a colourful look. If you have nail polish on before, it's okay. Um, you actually don't need to take this off because it will work better this way. All you'll need is like a few colours of nail polish, q-tips and maybe some toilet paper or a sponge if you have one. I just have an OPI colour, I think it's called Chocolate Shakespeare or Shakespeare Chocolate or something to do with chocolate and Shakespeare. That's what I have on my nails. If it's chipping, like mine clearly is, if you can, I don't know if you can actually see that or not, it is indeed chipping. That's also okay because it will brighten up the colours on the outside where it's not filled in by your base colour. So what I think I'm first going to do is I'm actually going to take quite a natural colour to start with. My nails are, are quite a natural colour, there is a little bit of sheen, but I think, actually you know what, I'm going to put down a piece of white paper so that you can see this properly. Alright, so hopefully you can see the colours better. I have a selection of colours, so my most natural colour, as you can see it's really quite natural. It's super close to my skin tone, it's nothing too crazy, it's going to make the other colours stand out quite a bit. So what you want to do is you just want to put that on your nails. Um, you don't need to do even strokes because, like I said, this is a colourful look. So you just kind of want to splotch that on a little bit. You can even leave some of your nail um, showing. That's also really great. And for the thumb, I'm maybe going to do like maybe just that much. So if you can see, that's kind of what it looks like. Um, really natural. So after that, what you want to do is you want to take a really bright kind of a colour to neutralise the really soft kind of orange you have going on here that's quite neutral. So I'm taking this colour, as you can see it's kind of a bright purple, super crazy, everything just like it's neon almost. Don't need to worry about your colours drying because it helps it blend in quite a bit and because this is a colourful look, uh, blending isn't really necessary. In fact I'm just going to probably put one stripe down on your thumb. So this is what we have so far. Yep. So as you can see the crazy purple is doing its job. Now you want to take a different colour that's going to complement both the purpley neon colour and the soft, subtle, nudie orange colour. I think the perfect colour to go with that is probably a baby yellow. I think it's just going to add some depth and it's just going to really complement the nail. And if the top comes off like that, that's no problem. You don't even need that because you do want to be quite precise with this look. Place that on really accurately. But if some does go over the top of your nail beds, oh, run away lid. If some does go over the top of your nail beds, that's okay. We're going to do some cleaning up at the end. Some blending, some some blending, not too much. This is very in right now. Where you place your nail polish is very important because you don't want any colours to clash. You want them to all complement each other which I think is super important when it comes to this kind of nail look. Now to really get crazy with your nail look, I think it's really cool if you do some kind of like swirly motions completely different kind of nail polish. So I'm going to take this glitter nail polish by OPI. It's just glittery blue, very subtle glitters but you can barely see them. But it is going to add quite a texture to the look that I think this look really really needs because it's quite bland at the moment. See, This is quite a dried out nail polish. 
that's good that's perfect that's exactly how you want it so I'm just gonna put it on like a q-tip because this is gonna add the texture that you want you're just gonna take it and you're going to kind of run it in circular motions around your nail don't worry if the color comes off that's fine you can also dab the color on if you wanted like a more kind of a galaxy feel to your nails I'm going to leave my thumb glitterless because I think that looks really cool so once you kind of have a color like this that's really quite stunning I mean you could almost stop there but why would you when you can just kind of make it seem even more put together I'm going to take this nail polish by BYS called Hocus Pocus definitely more noticeable shimmers than the last because the glitter nail polish that I used it was more of a shimmer this is definitely more of a glitter nail polish so you're going to take this and you're almost going to do a French tip except the French tip you can do over the top of the nail like on the top of the nail going on to the fingers it's really different it's totally in for both spring and fall which both sides of the earth is currently going through I hope it doesn't need to be super perfect because the rest of the looks quite put together so if you have some messiness it does complement it and we're all about complementary things here you just kind of want to you want to do a little bit extra on the thumb I think because the thumb is quite a dominant nail so you can almost go right around your finger I think I'm even going to do a block effect with this where you just your block effect you just go down one side of the nail and onto the nail bed like onto your skin and then you're just kind of going to do the same on the other side and then around the bottom of your thumb so it looks like this before all of this dries you want to take a cotton pad and you want to rip it so that there's that fluffy part and what we're going to do is we're going to kind of do a velvet nail and you're just going to press on it like so just press the the fuzzy side of the nail onto and this gives it even more texture than the glitter or sugar nail polish does so yeah that is my finished nail look it's a totally precise perfect blending you can wear this out anywhere really it goes with anything because it has so many colors that it's going to go with something and definitely none of the nails clash and I like how none of the nails are exactly the same and the velvet kind of finish that the cotton pad gives it is super on trend right now and really unique and I also like the box effect that the thumb gives and the reverse manicure tip at the top I think that's going to be something that's on trend at the moment it's coming into fashion it's going to be perfect so yeah I hope you enjoyed this wonderful nail tutorial I hope it was helpful and it's something that I definitely love and I'm going to wear every day <laughs> okay obviously this was an April Fool's joke I don't think I'm going to wear this out I mean I could because I'm wow I'm like damn go damn look out for another video tomorrow hopefully and I hope you all have a beautiful April Fool's Day see you later guys bye